Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to design and make active power factor correction using this IC which is MC3326-2. The power in DC devices is equal to voltage times current, but the power in AC devices is equal to voltage times current times power factor. Power factor is a number between 0 and 1 which refers to phase shift between current and voltage phase. According to this formula, if we have two electric devices with the same power but with different power factor, in this case the second device with less power factor will draw in more current. To solve in this problem, we have to use power factor correction method to increasing the power factor. However, power factor correction cannot decrease in the electric bill because household consumer charge electric bill for kilowatt hour. But the power factor correction in real life can increase in the efficiency of wind and solar systems because the inverter which used in solar and wind energy systems giving you power in the output as apparent power. This is why the maximum output power of inverters and even diesel generator marked by volt amp. Here I have this 1500 volt amp inverter. 1500 volt amps means that I can run in 15 lamps, each lamps 100 watt with power factor of 1, but if the power factor was for example 0.7, in that case I can run in only 10 lamps. This is why you have to improve the power factor of your loads, if you want to use solar or wind energy system at your home. There are two types of power factor correction, passive and active power factor correction. Passive power factor correction using for linear loads such as motors. But active power factor correction using for nonlinear or harmonic loads such as CFL or LED lamps. Here I have this tiny 15 watt motor. The power factor of this motor is about 0.5 and its drawing current is about 96 milliamp. I can increase in the power factor of this motor simply by adding one microfarad capacitor to it. By the way, about one year ago, I make an Arduino project which calculate the capacitor size for power factor correction. The link of the video below in the description. As you can see, the current drawing of this motor drops from 97 milliamp to about 57 milliamp only. But you cannot use in the same method for improving the power factor of LED lamps. By adding the power factor correction capacitor across this LED lamp, the power factor become even less and the drawing current become even higher than before. In this case, adding inductor also cannot be useful because the current phase in LED lamps are not sinusoidal. This kind of electric load called nonlinear load or harmonic load. To improve in the power factor of nonlinear loads, we have to use another method which called active power factor correction. In this method, we convert the single spike current phase to many small spike with overall shape looks like sinusoidal shape. There are different ICs for active power factor correction. I used MC3326-2, the circuit shown in the datasheet. But you have to use in some formulas to calculate the value of resistors and inductor. Only these five formulas are important. The first formula determine the peak current of the inductor. The output power I need to my load in this case is 15 watt. 
the efficiency according to data sheet is equal 0.92 and the low line voltage in my case is 200 volt so the peak current of the inductor in my case is equal to 230 milliamp the next formula using for calculating the inductance T according to data sheet is equal to 20 microsecond the output voltage I need 350 volt the low line voltage in my case is 200 volt and the output power I need to my load in this case is 15 watt so the inductance should be 4.7 millihenry the next important formula using for calculating value of current sense resistor according to data sheet the VCS is equal to 0.5 volt and the peak current of the inductor I calculated before equals 0.23 amp so the resistor should be 2.2 ohm the next formula using for determining the resistor voltage divider value according to data sheet the VM should be 3 volt at high line input AC voltage which in my case is 235 volt I would like to use in 3.3 mega ohm resistor for R5 so R3 should be 30 kilo ohm and finally the last formula using for determining resistor values of the output voltage divider and I ignore this part of formula because it's very close to zero the output voltage I need 350 volt DC the voltage reference according to data sheet is equal 2.5 volt I would like to use in 3.3 mega ohm resistor for R2 so R1 will be 23.7 kilo ohm so I using two resistors in series 22 kilo ohm and 1.5 kilo ohm the winding number ratio between primary and secondary of this transformer should be 12 according to data sheet I using 60 turns in the primary and 5 turns in the secondary then I convert this circuit to PCB in my PCB design the MOSFET can be SMD or THT the bridge diode also can be THT or SMD I using this LED lamp as a load the power factor of this lamp is 0.68 and the current drying is 101 milliamp but after using the circuit the power factor become 1 and the current drying become about 74 milliamp here you can see the current and voltage phase before and after power factor correction the output voltage as you can see is 354 volt DC which is 4 volt more than my calculation that because I using 23.5 kilo ohm resistor instead of using 23.7 kilo ohm I also using this circuit for the TV the power factor before using the circuit was 0.59 and the current drawing was 285 milliamp but after using the circuit the power factor become 1 and the current drying become 173 milliamp it's better to use in an EMI filter in the input of the circuit as always I put the Gerber file circuit and component list in the description of the video thanks for watching